Hello everyone, this is Ivan from Social Links and in our first video we were talking about starting your first investigation uh, using our solution within Maltigo uh, and going from the basic Maltigo entities of phone number and alias to gather social media accounts. What we're going to show you now is how to extract more information from those entities and how to use some of the built-in Maltigo features to make your work faster and more comfortable. So as you can see here, uh, there are different kinds of layout uh, within Maltigo. And uh, this here is the block mode. We can also set it to hierarchical, circular, or organic. There are also different kinds of view here and this can be particularly useful when you need to look at a single set of data from uh, several different logical standpoints, several angles. So you can sort those entities by the diversity of the descent, by the general amount of incoming or outgoing links, by rank or by weight. You can also uh, look into the list view which uh, can make it more comfortable to search for a particular entity instead of having to browse the graph manually. Uh, and uh, yes. So uh, let's start extracting more information from these entities. Let's start with the Telegram account here and use these transforms in the wrong view. Next, let's go to the Tinder account, get details and photos. Next, let's switch to VK and get the general information of the person's activity on that platform. Let's go on to Skype and get the details and info from password recovery pages. Let's choose Facebook and extract the information that they have disclosed about themselves there. Next, we can go on to Instagram. GitHub. Foursquare. And LinkedIn. So now we have a general representation of this person's behavior on social media. We have extracted the groups that they are present in on Telegram as well as channels. Uh, we have extracted the information from VK, their friends list, the groups they, per they are participating in, and their school according to what they tell about themselves on that platform. Facebook, uh, Skype, the information from the password recovery pages, 
which is in this case a masked phone number. The two last digits are coinciding the, with the one we've had initially and a masked email. We also now have GitHub, the user repositories and who they're following and who's following them and LinkedIn, uh, which obviously contains information about where they work, where, where have they worked previously, uh, and the people who are likely related to them in the professional field. So this is what is called a digital footprint, uh, a representation of what a person is in real life, uh, from their behavior on social media. And uh, from this point on, uh, we uh, can get more information about each of those entities, uh, about a little less than 3,700 of them on this graph, and uh, interconnect uh, the, dif uh, the different kinds of information uh, that we have here and uh, go deeper. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the Social Links Identity Search Engine, which is our unique inner development. If you are interested in Social Links, you can book a demo by following the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, we greatly appreciate any kind of feedback on this channel. This will help us in developing it further. Bye.